Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of area and perimeter. This is standard 4.5D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 23, which is a new item type, hot text, off the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got hot text here, which means we have two different answers. This is a two-point question, so obviously if you only get one right, you only get one point. But watch, it's hot text. I could take this right here, this first uh, answer selection, and I can actually use it in both if I wanted to. So hot text lets you use the same answer in both. Drag and drop doesn't let you do that. And if I wanted to just use one and then hit next, it's going to come up with uh, an error message saying you have not answered the entire problem. So let's use our graph draw feature. We're going to expand it out here. Now, we have, uh, take a look at this. We've got all these, this grid. So if we wanted to, we can actually use this grid paper, right? So let's try this. So we need to find an, a perimeter of 20 and an area of 20. So let's look at this first one, length of 10, width of two. All right, so here's my width of two, length of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, so here's my first rectangle. So if I wanna draw this, Here's my 2, here's my 10. All right, so what is my perimeter? Well, my perimeter is going to be 10 and 10, 2 and 2, so that's going to be 24. Uh, not what I need, okay? So my area is going to be 2 times 10, right? Because there's going to be two columns of 10, so that's 20. All right, area of 20, aha, okay. So this could work. Uh, this could work for my air, my rectangle Y. Let's check my next one. I'll go to a different color here. Uh, it's going to be a length of 13 and a width of 7. Okay, so that's going to be a big one. And let's do it up here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. That's a big rectangle. So 13, 7, 13, and 7. So my perimeter is going to be 13 plus 13 plus 7 plus 7. Well, 13 plus 7 makes 20, so two 20s makes 40. So I don't need that one. My area is going to be, wow, 7 times 13. I'm not sure what that one is. 7 times 13, 21, 91. All right. I'm not going to use this one. Let's go to a different color here. Uh, length of 6, width of 4. That seems pretty easy. I'm just going to draw right over this. Let's go connect line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, that's tiny. So here's my 6s. Here's my fours. So my perimeter is going to be 6 plus 4, which is 10. 6 plus 4 is 10, so perimeter equals 20. Hey, look at that. I need that right there. My area is 6 times 4. That's 24. Okay. So this one could be my rectangle X. All right. I've just got one more to check. Let's see what happens uh, when I do my last one, my 10 and 10. Okay. That's a big old square. I wonder if I, where I've got room for that one. Let's see if I let's see if I have room over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Big square. I didn't get that close. That's fine. 10 and 10. All right, so my perimeter is going to be 10 and 10 and 10 and 10. That's 40. Don't need it. My area is going to be 10 times 10. That's 100. Don't need that either. All right, so here are my answers. And